what's up, y'all? It's Cole. She's seven. And uh, today's the day I fly to Cali. I'm really fucking nervous. <laughs> the competition really, it starts soon. Like, it's crazy. I'm really nervous for it. I really, really want to do well. And, I don't know, there's just so much, so much crazy crap going on. It's just absurd. Like, I don't know. I'm stressed. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a lot. I'm very, very scared. I guess, I don't know. Maybe scared is not the right word. I'm anxious for sure. Just want to get there and start competing. Nervous. I want to do well. I mean, like, I really want to win it. I don't think anyone that's going doesn't want to win it, but I really want to win it. I do think I have a shot at it, too. I guess it just really depends. But yesterday I met all the rest of the contestants, which that's pretty cool. Three of them are TAC FPS players, so that's kind of, that's interesting. But one of the games is CSGO that we'll be competing in, so that's, I guess that's worrisome to say the least, being that they, there's three TAC FPS players and one of the games we'll compete in is CS, but the other two games will be Quake Champions and Apex, or at least that's what they said, so as long as I can make it through CSGO, I'll be golden, I think. Be really golden. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm surprised that there's not an Apex player in this. Which seems very, very interesting. But it was really cool to get to know the contestants a little bit. I was awkward as fuck. <laughs> I said nothing. I was the first person to introduce myself to the group and then like, I said like fucking eight words. And then everyone else is say like all these, their accomplishment, accomplishments, their accolades, who they are, what they're about. And I just like, I'm a, I play Quake. <laughs> I play Quake, I'm an avid aimer, bro. That's all I said. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know how that comes off. I don't know if it's like fucking cocky or if I'm just the awkward, quiet kid, but I don't know. We'll have to see. It's very, very interesting to say the least, but I don't know. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm very excited. I just don't want to be the first off. That would be, that would, that just would suck. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm not too worried about it. I guess like being that the eliminations will happen through an aim lab scenario. I feel like I'm pretty good. Like I know one of the players is, uh, I was looking through their social media and like, I think he's got a he's got a pretty good uh, grid shot score in Kovacs, but I guess that's not it's not too meaningful so long as we don't play grid shot. Like it's it's a, it's one of those scenarios that if you're good at it, it means nothing outside of the fact that you're good at that one individual scenario. It doesn't signify mouse control. It doesn't signify good aim. It really just shows that you can play grid shot. So that's good. But I don't know, there's two two of the opponents that are uh, they're pretty good at TAC FPS. The CS player that's I don't even know. I I'm sure they're global elite if they even play ranks, because I know it's more on like the ESCA face it side of things for CS. And then there's a Radiant and Val, which both of them have some pretty crisp aim at least within the scope of TAC FPS. So that's kind of cool. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we don't have to play a straight, just TAC FPS aim trainer scenes. I would hope that they don't. There's like four, if four other types of aim that really aren't exclusive to TAC FPS. So hopefully we get to see some tracking or some target switching, which I guess target switching is kind of attack FPS, but I associate it more with just the clicking. But I don't know, we'll see. I think other than grid shot, I think I probably went out versus the rest of the opponents and aim trainers. Like I don't, 
I just I have a hard time believing that any of them play him as much as I do, which is a good thing. But I don't know, we'll have to see. And like the challenges are very subjective. They're not going to be like legitimate. Like one person's going to like outright win. It's like more so about what the judges think and everything. So I guess that's a little worrisome, but also a little not worrisome, especially being that like CS:GO isn't my main game. Tac FPS isn't my main genre. So like they're going to be able to see at least my adaptability when it comes down to playing a game that's outside of my comfort zone. So, I don't know. That'll be cool. Kind of fucking sucks. Had a fucking pimple. What a great time. About to be on a fucking reality TV show and I got a massive fucking pimple in the middle of my fucking forehead. It won't go away. For like three days of this shit. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it. At least the cool thing is there's going to be makeup. So I'm going to get a little pretty, but man. <sighs> I'm pretty, I don't know. I'm stoked to be able to get there. I just don't want to, I don't want to just like have spent all this time worrying and stressing to just go out in the beginning, which I don't know. It's like the rational side of me is like, I don't, there's a very low chance, even if I like get put into an elimination battle that I lose, like it's so... Like, I, aim traders are my thing. Like, and not to mention that they're my thing, it's that I have spent so much time being able to be at the highest level across the board at all the different styles of aiming. Not just one. Like, I am definitely outright better in, like, one of the, the main categories of aiming, but it's like, I'm no slouch in the rest of them either. And, like, it's like, yeah, I'm, like, in the top 1%. For like that one style that I'm really good at, but then it's like I'm in the top five, fifth percentile for the rest of them. Like that's still some crazy shit. So like, I don't know. I have to keep that in mind, even though I'm like nervous and I don't know. I just want to be able to do well in the challenges and just show them who I am. And I don't know. I want to get the. I want to. I want the people to like me. I want the community to like me. Because I think that's the biggest thing. Like no matter what I do, if I win, if I lose, like it's all about getting the community to like me because the community is what will make my career or what will make this opportunity turn into a career and let me leave, live my dream more so than just like a one-year contract with Team Liquid, albeit that like I'm not gonna say no to something like that. Like that's such an incredible opportunity, but it's like, I still have to have the gaming community on my side. They have to still be willing to show up. Like Team Liquid's only a team of, I mean, it's like, I don't think they have a full hundred people on their team. And it's like to be a streamer or a content creator, I need thousands of people, which is like, they're giving me that platform to be able to find those people. So I just have to, I have to be myself and really not try to do anything outside of myself but it's going to be really cool. It's such an awesome opportunity. I'm really looking forward to meeting the contestants. Like it's a really diverse cast of characters to say the least, but it's just going to be, it's going to be cool. And I don't know. I'm about to fly out today, which is nuts. I spend the whole day flying, which is, it's not the end of the world. It's a nice six hour flight from, I'd fly from uh, New Jersey all the way to LAX on a one stop one stop shop. It'll be the biggest plane I've ever flown on, which is cool. It's a, it's a Dreamliner, massive jet, three rows. That's crazy. I've never I've never flown on a plane that's not like three seats on one side, three seats on the other. I honestly I don't think I've flown on a plane that has like separate compartments for the nicer like for like business versus like business plus versus like priority or whatever would be considered i don't know if i remember ever flying on a jet like that i'm used to like just flying southwest where it's like you kind of just show the fuck up and you get the seat closest to the front if you're there earlier if you have an a boarding pass but yeah uh it's gonna be really interesting i really hope that i have good people to sit with or like maybe there's not people i don't know my flight to new jersey i'm stuck in a middle row which or 
we're like in a middle seat, which kind of sucks. I just have to really, 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 really hope that I don't have poor, like bad people next to me. I also, I don't know. I have a hard time believing that it's going to be a full flight. Like where I'm leaving from is a small airport and I'm kind of going like, it's, it's such an odd flight because I'm going from Georgia to, um, New Jersey. That's, I don't know. I feel like that can't be that popular of a flight. It's a Saturday. It's the middle of the day on a Saturday. So it's like, it's not a busy travel day. So hopefully maybe I'll have some empty seats next to me, which would be really nice. I doubt that the New Jersey to LAX is going to be empty. I think that'll be very full. I don't know. I could pay 350 extra bucks and go up to like the, the nice, the nice seats, which it's like, there's like a small part of me that was like, you know, that would be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind being up there like that. Like that would be pretty dope. But also it's like, odds are I sleep. Hopefully I sleep. I'll probably, I think I might end up sleeping on the first flight, which if I can, I'd like to be able to make it through the first flight without sleeping because I'd love to be able to sleep on the second flight. But I don't think that happens. I didn't sleep much last night. So it is odds are going to be sleeping on the first flight, which is okay. I'll probably end up napping on the second one, but it'd be cool to conk out for like an hour or two on the six hour flight versus the one hour, two hour flight that I have in the beginning. But then I'll arrive in California at like nine o'clock, which is freaking crazy. I'm probably, I'm gonna be exhausted because I'm used, to, that's usually my like, 1 a.m. when I'll get there at nine, but I've been, I've been attempting to ship my sleep schedule. So hopefully that helps with the jet lag. I think it'll, I think it'll help a lot. I don't think I'll struggle quite as bit, quite as much. And it's also good. Like I'll have to, I'm going to be shooting to get up at like 7 a.m. Maybe even earlier, which is like about 11 here. So like, that's good. Like I, I have a, my sleep schedule is decently online and like being that like I woke up at like seven o'clock today, it's like that's 3 a.m. there. So early mornings probably aren't gonna be my issue, which is good. But I don't know, there's just a lot going on and I just wanna get going on it. And I wanna be able to, I just wanna start competing because like once I can get into the competition, the nerves will disappear. That's how I've always been my whole life. I'm not anxious when I'm playing. I'm just anxious before I'm playing. I'm like, just worried. Like, I just want to be there. I want to get going. I want to like get with contestants, like, and being able to kind of see how they interact in front of cameras and in front of all the people is going to be a big tell on like how this whole thing is going to go. And I just have to, I have to try very hard to crack myself out of my shell being in front of a bunch of cameras in front of a crew, like, I've never done this before. Like, and I just have to make sure I don't just like become incredibly reserved because that was something that I think ended up happening when I was in the call with all the contestants yesterday is like, I ended up like really pulling into myself, but I don't know. I can't, I don't know. I'm like, I'm partially thinking it's like I kind of reserved, but it's also like the competition started for me yesterday. So what I showed and what I said is part of the competition to me and showing and I guess not really showing much I think at least in my mind shows at least there's a little bit of mystery a little bit of intrigue but it's also like I'm not going to sit there and talk myself up I don't need to there's going to be a lot of other stuff that's going to go on in this game show that's going to show you who I am and what I'm about. I don't need to tell you guys that I'm this, that, or the next, or that I'm this rank, or that I've been playing for this long. Like, you're gonna see it. You're gonna witness me. And I think that's a big thing. I think, I don't know. I don't know, that was pretty cool. And then I follow all of them on social media afterwards, which I think, I think that was a good play. I think that was, the, I think that was a big play in my book going through and making sure I followed all of them on social media because they, they get to see who I am and what I'm about when it comes to games because at the end of the day, 
I know I have the best aim out of all of the people there. Like, I play Quake. I'm a diabolical player. My, my broad spectrum aim is better than all of their broad spectrum aims. Like, yeah, they might have me beat in their little subsection, in their little tiny subsection, but when if you put us all on paper and you do the averages, I'm above these guys probably by a pretty big margin across a full average. So that's cool. And I just have to show that. And especially being that, like, three of them are attack FPS players. When it comes to Quake and Apex, it'll be interesting to see how these players move, move and shoot because... They're kind of just used to standing still and shooting. But I'm used to moving, baby. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. I actually don't know when I'll be able to post these vlogs. Cause I have another one like the day after I got picked and now I'm about to go to, go to Cali. I'll probably try to record mostly every day. I feel like that's a lot of good content I could end up making for myself, especially with this. There's probably gonna be a a decent influx of people coming on or coming into my channels now. So yeah, there's that, but I, I'm all packed up and just ready to fly out. Like uh, just getting on the plane, I'll probably be a lot less anxious. I mean, I'm a little bit anxious for the, the layover. I it's, it's only 40 minutes, but that's kind of why it's a little bit worrisome because it's like, if a delay happens with the plane, then like, I'm going to miss my flight to LA. And I don't think there's a lot of those flights straight across the United States. So like, I really don't want anything to happen. And being that it's only a 43 minute connection leaves a little bit of, there's just a little bit of stress involved with that, which I don't think anything's going to happen. It's summer when like, I'm not flying during like terrible weather, hopefully. And just, I want to get to LA and then I think Sunday I have pretty much off. I don't know. I'll probably try to try to get them to like take me to the studio or something. Cause I'd love to start meeting the people, start networking. I'd love to be able to just talk with anyone on team liquid. Like these are people that are living my dream. And this organization is something that like I could learn infinite amount of information, infinite amount. Ugh. This this organization is like a place that I could learn a lot from, to say the least. Like, and I just want to be able to like go pick their brains, learn from them, and experience what they do. So, hopefully, I'll be able to do that. If not, I'll just I don't know, fuck around in LA for a Sunday. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll go walk to the beach. I don't even know where I'm staying. I don't know. Never done this. I'm gonna have to get like an Uber or some shit. It's gonna be weird. I'm not a, I don't know. I'm not a big city boy. <laughs> I guess I've been around Denver my whole life, but it's like I've always had a car. So it'll be interesting to be somewhere without a car. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It'll be interesting to say the least. But it'll be fun. It'll definitely be very fun. But yeah, uh, I think that's it.